Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today I'm going to talk you through how to update your dynamic zone visibility parameters just using a click. So this is super useful. You can download the workbook in the uh, description below if you want to follow along. Otherwise, if you're just wanting to apply it to your own uh, use case, you're welcome to do that too. So this is kind of what we're going to look at, right? We have a dashboard, which is just showing simple sales. But if I click on any one of my bars, well, now suddenly I get like this expansion of information, right? So I've got a map and I've got some uh, city and order information and we can expand that even and select a couple of cities. We've got some filters, which is pretty cool. And then when we deselect the bars, they disappear. So we're gonna build this exact thing. And you might be wondering like, can't you just do that with a filter action? I guess technically you could do something like that with a filter action, right? So I could drop my state sales in here, drop a little horizontal container at the bottom, and then put my city info and my map in here. I'll change this to fit width and maybe just for the sake of clarity, let's hide our titles and I'm going to get rid of these parameters. Okay. Now, we said, couldn't we do this with a filter? I guess technically you could do something like it with a filter. So let's add a filter action and we can call this um, filter, I don't know, from state. We're gonna click on our state sales. When I select my state sales uh, in dashboard two, I wanna filter everything in dashboard two. Clearing the selection will exclude values. Actually, let's uncheck state sales. So exclude all values means I just want them to go blank and that should be okay. Let's hit okay, nice. And now we've got those and then they disappear. That's fine, they work, the sheets disappear. However, the downside of this is, as you can see, the minute those sheets disappear, their legends just go blank and the filters that were connected to those sheets are still in the dashboard. So if you're wanting to keep all of those elements, a filter is not gonna be enough. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, actually, we'll, I think we'll keep the filter for the moment. Mm -hmm. We'll tweak it. Right, so Dynamic Zone Visibility was released with Tableau 2022.3, 2023.2, oh no, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, if you want to learn more about the basics of dynamic zone visibility, I actually did a video on that a little while ago. That will be linked in the description. Maybe we can get it up here uh, at a little button that you can click. So that's like the beginner walkthrough of how this works. So you'll need some of those concepts, but let's take a look at some elements that we'll need to get this working. So the first thing that we want is a Boolean parameter, right? Something that shows like a show or hide. So I'm going to create my parameter and I'm gonna call this uh, DZV show hide something so we know what it is. And I'll just change my data type to Boolean. Now, it, it doesn't really matter too much. I guess you could make this work with another parameter type too, but we're just gonna make it Boolean and say show or hide. You don't really need to show this parameter. We're not gonna interact with it anyway. We're gonna do all our interaction just with some clicks but we do need this to exist. Now we're gonna create a calculated field. Um, now, dynamic zone visibility relies on Boolean fields to know whether it should show or hide your parameters. But these fields need to be super simple, like complex Boolean fields don't seem to work as well in dynamic zone visibility. So we're gonna say something like, and by complex, I mean based on a, uh, a condition or something like that. We'll get a little workaround. So all this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be our filter, DZV, show hide. And this is literally just gonna contain our parameter. That's, that's all. So this is gonna be true or false based off of the parameter selection. Okay, so, so far we've got a parameter, we've got a Boolean field. We should have everything that we need, right? So let's go back here Let's click on the map, on the cities, on all the elements, and let's go to layout, control visibility using value. And we're gonna say our filter DZV show hide. And we're just gonna repeat that for all these other ones. DZV show hide. Let's get all of these going. 
linked up to this. Uh oh. Control visibility using value. Okay, almost done. And last one. A little profit. Okay, very nice. So, what happens now? Ooh, well, nothing really. We're in the same situation. And although we haven't done anything wrong, we just haven't really completed our steps. So what we need is something to say, hey, when I click on this, I want you to update the value of the parameter. So ideally, we want a situation where when you're clicking on this first sheet, it's making our little parameter true so that it shows all of these elements, right? And when you deselect, it makes it false. So we can try put through a little dashboard action. That could be a good setup so far. So if we add an action and add a change parameter action, this could be update DZV parameter. We'll say when I click on the state sales sheet, nice. The target parameter is gonna be our show hide. Uh, and we don't really have a source field just yet. Clearing the selection will set the values of false. Okay, so let's try this and see if that works to update the parameter. I'll say okay. And we can hide, okay, no. So this is just our filter action running through. And this is where I found the real key to be to enter some kind of true or false field in the state, in the sheet that you're clicking on that is gonna update your parameter for you. Basically, the reason being, when you're working through this little update parameter action, you'll notice that it's trying to set a field uh, it's trying to get a true or false value from our worksheet from a source field. But we don't have any Boolean fields in this worksheet, in our state sales worksheet. So we need to create a Boolean field that is linked to what we want this to display. So we basically want to say, look, when I click on the state or province field, uh, I want that to update. That's, that's now true. I guess technically what I'm saying is, when the state or province field is one, when a count distinct of a sales province field is one, then set this to true and otherwise make it false. So I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna go in here to our sheet and I'm gonna create a calculated field and this is gonna be called DZB Boolean or something. You know, you can come up with a better name. And I'm literally just gonna say, uh, this just needs to be a, a simple Boolean field. I'm gonna say the count distinct of state or province is one okay that's fine and let's drop this onto detail just so that it exists in the sheet i'll go back to my dashboard too we'll go to our actions and all we're going to do is update our parameter action so that the source field is now our little boolean field that'll be okay we don't need an aggregation that's fine and we'll hit okay and so now remember we're kind of just keeping an eye on these guys boom they're gone Beautiful, that's so good. Resizing nicely, okay. I guess the one thing that I'm noticing is that when these are all disappearing, there's actually a little bit of like dead space down here and that's because there, there's a container still there. These guys are in a container. So I'm just gonna double click, uh, select one of the worksheets and double click on the tab at the top. So it selects the whole container and I'm actually gonna contain, control the visibility of the whole container using our new field. So that, that way it should sort of clean up that space issue. And there you go, it does that exact thing, which is great. Okay, perfect. I guess finally, for a little bit of spacing, maybe we can grab a little blank sheet and drop it in like this and reorder our filters and stuff so that it's very clear that these filters only associate with these sheets. And let's go again. Okay, very nice. Now we can filter down consumer and office supplies. Maybe we can add in a couple more states. Okay, cool. Change these. Nice, our legends are changing. Beautiful. Okay, that's working super, super well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully that works. I mean, this is obviously level of complexity one or two and you can ramp it up and apply this wherever you like. But I guess the big things here is you need a Boolean uh, parameter you need a Boolean calculated field, and then, you know, that just contains that parameter, and then a calculated field that just returns true or false based off of the selection in your sheet, okay? 
I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, pop them down in the chat and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you've got any other things that you'd like us to tackle, let us know. Awesome. Keep well. See you soon.